This is our first example involving related rates. We have the equation 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. As you all know, this is an ellipse. So you think of x and y as being the coordinates of any point on this ellipse. And we're told that x and y are functions of t. So it may be helpful to draw a quick graph here. So 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36. The graph doesn't need to be perfect. We could just use the x and y intercepts. So the y-intercepts are plus or minus 2. The x-intercepts are plus or minus 3. So we'll just draw a quick sketch. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to help us visualize what's going on. So we're given dy dt equals one third. So what that is telling you is that at this instant, the y coordinate is changing. By one third, and I didn't give you any units, so maybe it is, you know, one third unit per second. And notice this notation, it, it's convenient to use a dot. So y dot means dy dt. So we're asked for dx dt. So if we're going to call that x dot. And it's at a given instant when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 2 thirds times the square root of 5. So we're in the first quadrant, right? So x is 2 and y is 2 thirds times the square root of 5. So what you can do is, you know, if x is equal to 2, plug in x is equal to 2, solve this equation for y, there'll two, be two values. We want the positive value because we're in the first quadrant, okay? That's where the two-thirds times the square root of five comes from. So we want to find x at this instant, okay? So what we will do is we will differentiate the equation 4x squared plus 9y squared equals 36 with respect to t. You have to keep in mind that x and y are both functions of t. So we're using the train rule, or actually implicit differentiation, so I'm differentiating with respect to t. So what I'm going to get is 8x times x dot plus 18y times y dot equals the derivative of 36, which is 0. Remember, the derivative of a constant is 0. Now, I can simplify this equation a bit. I could divide both sides by 2, and that would give me 4x times x dot plus 9y times y dot equals 0. Now, what were we asked for again? We were asked to find 
x dot when what? When y dot is one third and x and y have these values. So you should notice that from our equation, there are actually four things here. We have x, x dot, y, and y dot. We're given three of them and we're asked for that piece that is missing which in this case is x dot. So at this point, we can plug in. A common mistake is for students to plug in the numbers too early. So remember, x is 2. So we have 4 times 2 times x dot, which is what we're asked to find, plus 9 times y, remember y is 2 thirds times the square root of 5, and then y dot, or dy dt, was given to be 1 third. So here's where we are right now. We have 4 times 2 times x dot, so we have is 8 times x dot plus, well, let's see here, we have 9 times 2 thirds times the square root of 5 times 1 third. So look what's happening here. I have in the denominator 3 times 3, which is 9, which is going to cancel with that 9. So I'm skipping a little bit of algebra here. We're going to have 2 times the square root of 5. So if I solve for x dot, what am I going to have? I'm going to have x dot equals, well, I'm going to subtract 2 times the square root of 5 from both sides, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So what we're going to get is this, x dot, or dx dt, is going to be negative square root of 5 over 4. Now why did we get a negative value? Let's go back to our picture. Remember our point? the first quadrant. So from that point, if we move in a direction where y is increasing, x must be decreasing. Do you agree? So what we get is x dot equals negative square root of 5 over 4.